raise your hand for questions. Mike, you talk about having a uh, guy right next to you back on the pole. It seems like you guys, and Marcus, you can answer too. It seems like you guys picked up where you left off. No, no, no. Me and uh, me and Mark, we had a great spring. Uh, you know, we uh, we definitely made some strides. I mean, it was a little rocky starting out just because you know we haven't really been in uh, you know a padded situation in a while. But having him back, you know, brings a whole other dimension to our offense. And uh, you know, him and you know a lot of other guys we have on receiving core, you know, um, they were able to get the reps and you know show what they can do, and then you know we got a lot better as we go on. I mean, uh, our biggest thing was getting our chemistry back together and getting the timing back down with our routes. And uh, me coming back, being off the year, and uh, just getting back in shape and getting uh, back to the speed of the game was uh, a thing I wanted to uh, focus on during spring ball. And I think I was able to accomplish that. So I think it was a great spring for us. With, uh, with Alec and Jared hurting that year, you got a little extra time to work on some, some more routes and get that chemistry back a little quicker, maybe? Yeah, we, I mean, we really didn't have any choice, but uh, yeah. Uh, you know, the thing with the with having a smaller side of the receiving court in the spring was that you know, Mark was able to get all the reps. He was about he was able, you know he was uh, he was out there getting all the throws, you know, um, facing all the adjustments. And you know him and a lot of the other young guys uh, who you know have played, you know, that, that stuff that they really needed. And uh, I think you know they progressively got better and better as we went on. And you know they're you know, I hope that they'll be able to take it forward into the summer. Into the game. Ours, it's a, it's a not a game yet, just a spring game you haven't played yet. But, I mean, you're out there. Did you ever worry that that moment wasn't going to happen again? Did you work on ever be catch your passes from Madison again? I mean, no, I wasn't really worried. I mean, I just stayed focused, worked out, uh, stayed with my teammates. I talked to the guys. Uh, they knew I was with them throughout the whole process. And how hard, how hard was it to that most of I mean, it was real hard at the beginning. I mean, not being in shape and not running full speed for a whole year it was kind of hard. But Coach Murray was able to get me through it. The other guys were able to get me through it. So, I mean, I think it was a success. Yep. Beckett, obviously Nick Pro had a big year last year at tight end. And in the first half, you were really the primary target for Ryan's passes. What is it about this offense that allowed the tight end to have a lot of success? You know, we have a lot of great coaches that put uh, people like uh, me and Marcus and Ryan. And even my man right here is actually made in great position to do the best we can. And you know, it's just things that he does for me personally, and Ryan. You know, let us connect like that. I just want to repeat to one of you to talk a little bit about the changes to the offense and sort of, in fact, you sort of address that. But I just want to beat you down, and especially Ryan and Zach, the changes in the quarterback being a little more involved in the running game. Yeah, um, yeah, just, I mean, after last year, we realized, you know, we need to we need a little more offensive performance. and. Uh, we had a little wrinkle with the, with the quarterback running, uh, the option, the, having the option of quarterback run. Uh, I mean, a lot of the time it's not necessarily going to be a quarterback design run, but we're all, like a lot more, more of the time in the run game, I'm going to have the option to run. So, you know, we'll have plays where, you know, uh, run, I'll give it to running back or I'll take it. You know, we can call that maybe 10 times, but I may only keep it twice. So uh, that's something we added in, um, you know, that, it's not really new to me. I kind of did that a couple of years ago uh, when I was a rusher freshman, but you know, we kind of uh, gotten away from it, but now we're bringing it back. And uh, we also got some younger, like, you know, the younger quarterbacks who are doing pretty well with that too. So, I mean, that's just, a, you know, having that in our system, you know, can open up a whole bunch of different dimensions and, you know, uh, gives us more opportunities to make good plays. I mean, I just think it's kind of simple. Uh, the coaches uh, made the playbook real simple. They cut out a lot of stuff, and they just gave all the playmakers a chance to make plays. They just put the ball in our hands. Um, everybody does their own job, and uh, hopefully it's a success at the end of the day. Yeah, I think, I think all these changes are only going to help us. I mean, anyone that really knows football knows the game is, the game is changing. Things are being spread out a little bit more. And it's not to say that we're going we're gonna to have a spread offense, but, you know, we have options. So. We're not going to be one dimensional. We're not going to be two dimensional. We're going to have a lot of a lot of different dimensions to the offense. So we can only help those. Yeah, and like Zach said, you know, we got a lot of athletes, and you put the ball in each one of their hands. You never know what's going to happen, and that's what we're trying to aim for, and that's what we're doing right now. Zach, the uh, right side of the offensive line is two new faces. Like what you see out of those guys, is kind of what you guys on the left side have been able to impart, you know, maybe from a leadership standpoint. I think those guys are doing well. They're progressing well. I mean, anytime you come in and you're a freshman and you've only been around for a year, you know, playing at this level, it's it's hard to really come up, especially during the spring. I mean, there's a lot of pressure and, and things like that. We really get going going fast. When you think about it, we have three practices and then the first scrimmage. So 
you know, those guys, they definitely had some rust, a lot of things to learn, but they're coming, up, they're coming along well, and, you know, they, they've done a good job so far. So we're, we're excited about it. Yeah, obviously, this is going to regulate some of the game, but that's an awful you guys disappointed that you didn't have the answer to the game. Yeah, I'm sure we're, you know, we're disappointed that we didn't score. But, uh, you know, we had a lot of factors. There's a lot of factors that went in, and it um, you know, kind of made it difficult for a lot of us. I mean, some of the play going on. And the situation was tough. was you know, a little bit different than what it really is going to be. I mean, I mean Marcus just ran a 40-yard go, he goes all the way down there, and then he has to get back in. Or in a real-life situation, you'll probably give him a blow it's just because, you know, you don't want some a winning guy out there in a big play. So, and, you know, we're, but, you know, excuses aside, yeah, we wish we could have scored a little bit more uh, points. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day. We won. Sure. <laughs> we scored enough. Ryan, what's been your impression of uh, Ashton? You know, if they play out there today, and how do you think he's kind of getting integrated? Oh, I think, you know, a a Ashton's a, he's a very raw football player. The kid's got you know, a tremendous upside. Um, you know, just like any incoming freshman, you, you get a lot put on you at first. You know, I mean, it, it, with the playbook, how to get lined up, you know, it's it's a lot. So, you know, we, you know. A lot of the older guys and some of the older running backs myself are make sure that uh, you know we bring him along as much as we can. You know, so instead of trying to throw everything on him at once, we're going to bring him by piece by piece. Because uh, we you know, we know how you know how much he could help us out there and um, you know, with depth and you know with um, you know with good plays. Take two more questions for the offense. Coach Rome talked a lot about chemistry throughout the spring. Can you, you guys just talk about the chemistry of the team and how you feel? You know, your comfort level right now? Uh, as of right now, uh, I'm feeling pretty uh, with the I'm feeling pretty good with the chemistry with the uh, in the passing game with the receivers. Uh, I think me, Marcus, and uh, we had a really good uh, spring this, this year. And we definitely built on our uh, chemistry stuff that we haven't had a chance to do in the past, but. Uh, I think, I think the old line's doing well. They, you know, they're, you know, we've added, we've got new guys in different spots, but uh, I think they're meshing well. And uh, I think as a union, offensively, you know, our chemistry is going to be You know, I think we have great chemistry within the offense and within the defense. And together as a group, you know, we work hard to uh, score points to relieve pressure for the defense, and the defense works hard so we can put the ball, so they can put the ball in our hands so that we can, you know, put points on the board. And I think the chemistry is just going to get better from here. Um, I think our chemistry is good right now. I mean, uh, all we got to do is get better in the off season. Um, me, Ryan, and all the other wide receivers, we got to get together and throw passes and keep being repetition. I think if we keep being reps, um, the chemistry can only get better. So just keep working. Yeah, I think the chemistry's come a long way this spring. I think having close practices really helped that. You know, I know you guys probably don't don't want to hear that, but <laughs> you know, having having the press out there and just be us, just be the offense, defense, coaches, and and the support staff around us, it's, it's really helped us to really buckle down and get a lot done in these last five or six weeks. Thank you. Interesting. Uh, the question was asked, was the offense be really disappointed? And Ryan said, oh, absolutely. And you were shaking your head, no, that question. Right, right. Well, well, in a way, like you said, you know, there were a lot of factors in today's game that, you know, we wouldn't see in a real game-like situation, you know, maybe on a Saturday, you know. But, you know, I mean, we didn't score as many points as we wanted to, but, you know, there were some great things we did today. You know? Final question, Benjamin? Okay, thanks guys very much. We'll bring up the coaches now, please.